how you treat water so sacredly. I, I, I just saw how you, when you drink water, you touch it with so much reverence, like how we touch a god's photo. So, what is it that, uh, what is it that you want to uh, tell us about it? See, you are reverential to gods that you have not seen. Right. I am reverential to God that I have seen. The food that you eat, the water right. that you drink, the air that you breathe, the soil that you walk upon, right. these are the ones which are uh, keeping you alive. You are made of that? Yes. Your very body is made yes. of that, isn't it? I heard that you said in the interview, it's, it's an ingredient, it's Isn't it? It's a life-making ingredient. Absolutely, very true. So, what is the most valuable thing in your life right now? Life itself, I think. Life itself, yeah. nothing else. You're alive right now, Absolutely. that's all. Yeah. So, three days if we don't give you a drop of water, come and uh, I dress up like God and come, whatever God you like, you like uh, Ganapati, I'll dress up like Ganapati and come. Yeah. 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 What will you ask? For water. Water. <laughs> then <Absolutely>. what? <laughs> True. So, there is, we've always been conscious of it, that water is alive, right. it's a life force. If it's not alive, how does it make you alive? If air is not alive, how does it make you alive? True. The very basis of your life. Right. But the so-called physical sciences have been denying it for a long time. Water is just H2O, all this is rubbish and everything. But now you see, last… Uh, I think in the last couple of years, Somebody got a Nobel Prize, people have been asking, Sadhguru, you must read about it. I said, I won't. <laughs> We've been saying this for thousands of years. Right. Because we have always known this, water is life. True. And we know water has memory. In South India, we store water in a certain way, we keep it in a certain kind of pot, we… People even worship the water pot. I just saw you do that. That is what really um, I thought that's… That's something I we mean, need if, to teach our kids. If you have no it. reverence for what is source of your life, right. who, what other things have your reverence? It's all empty reverence. Truly, truly. You are uh, reverential towards something that you have not seen. Truly. Just because somebody has taught you. No, I am reverential to all those things that matter to me – water, soil, air, food, people. Right, of course. People, yes. man, woman, child, animal, true. tree. Everything, I am very reverential to all of them because I know this is what is making our life right now. See, so the important thing is, you're alive, yes. that's a basic fact. Rest is all made up by you, isn't it? True. You're essentially alive. Everything else is made up in your head. Right. You're mistaking psychological reality for existential reality, that's the main problem. Mm -hmm. What's happening in your mind, you think it's real. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you're in cinema. But so I can use this example. People go sit in a cinema theater, yeah. lights off, it'll not work if lights are on. True. Lights off, then watch the cinema, get involved, enjoy the movie. When it closes, they must come out. Mm -hmm. But a whole lot of people think that's for real. Right. That's what is happening to human beings. You have a cinema theater in your mind, it's playing all kinds of badly directed movies. True. <laughs> Very true. And you start thinking that is the reality. No, it is just your psychological nonsense. So your psychological drama, your thinking is existentially true. That is the basis of all these problems that we have. Mm -hmm. So today, you pray to some other god, it's your psychological stuff. Right. Depending on which culture you're born in, mm -hmm. which family you're born in, accordingly you're looking up to some god, isn't it? True. Everybody is looking up only. So all of them are side by side on the cloud, I'm asking. No, I mean it's more of imagination, so… So it's your psychological, psychological reality. Yeah. But water is existential reality. Right. If one day you don't have water to drink, it's Endo not body. psychological. True. So Kaveri calling is not a psychological thing, it's existential, it's real. Mm -hmm.